Hi, this is Barbara Rademacher again, and we're doing problem seven from homework set four. And what this is asking is uh, for us to complete that table. Now, what this table does is called an XY table. It's also called a T table. What it does is it lets us know some of the points. And as it ends up, whenever you have a zero as one of the coordinates of your points, that is a very important point, and you'll learn about that too soon. Right now we're at the very beginning of your studies on graphing lines. Okay, well, for the first point, we're told that the x-coordinate is zero and we're being asked to find the y-coordinate. This is how you do it. You take the equation you're given, 6x plus 7y equals 42, and you take that 0 and you put it in for the x, and then you solve for y. So 6 times 0 plus 7 times y equals 42. 6 times 0 is 0, so we're going to say 7y equals 42. Then divide both sides by 7 to get the y by itself, and we'll have y equals 6. So now we know that if x is 0, y is 6, and what that does is it gives us the point 0, 6. This point with a 0 in that position is called the y-intercept. That's the point where the line, the graph of the line, is going to cross the y-axis. You'll see all this in just a little while. For the next point, we're told that the y-coordinate is 0, and we're being asked to find the x-coordinate. So um, we're going to have 6x plus 7 times 0 equals 42. 7 times 0 is 0, so we'll have 6x equals 42. Then divide by 6 and divide by 6, and what do you get? You get x equals 7. So when y is 0, x is 7. The point 7, 0, with a 0 in the second position, is called the x-intercept. And this is the point at which the line crosses the x-axis. The third point we're asked to find is one in which the x-coordinate is 14. So let's come over here, and we'll have 6 times 14 plus 7y equals 42. Now, 6 times 14, 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. We'll have 84 plus 7y equals 42. Now, subtract 84 from both sides of the equation, or add negative 84. Same thing we'll have 7y equals negative 42. Then when we divide both sides by 7, we'll get y equals negative 6. So if x is 14, y is negative 6. Now let's put these numbers in. If x is 0, y is 6. If y is 0, x is 7. And if x is 14, y equals negative 6. Let's see if that's right. Yes, it is. That's how you do that kind of problem. Now we've got one of those unusual equations again. 
we're going to be finding a T table or an X and Y table. We're going to be finding the entries, which are really points on the line. Only this time, we're going to do it for the line X equals 2, where there is no Y. So I'll draw the table. And we're told, well, for the first point, y is 1. For the second point, y is 3. And for the third point, y is negative 3. But there is no y here for us to be able to substitute these numbers in. There is something I do know, though. That is that x equals 2. In fact, it ends up x equals 2 no matter what y is. And that's the meaning of there not being a y there. y can be anything. It doesn't matter. x is 2 no matter what. So this point is going to be 2, 1. This point, 2, 3. This point, to negative 3, and all three of these points are on this line. OK. It'll all be explained soon. Oh, I have to put the numbers in, don't I? OK. So 2, 2, and 2. Do you wonder what this looks like? Let me draw it for you. Here's the x-axis. Here's the y-axis. And here are the points 1, 2, and 3. And I don't know, here are the points, not points, but scale. 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. OK, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and 1, 2, 3. And this is 1, 2, and 3. Now, if we were going to graph the point 2, 1, we would start at the center and come out to 2 on the x-axis and up one in the vertical direction and put a dot. If I wanted to graph the point 2, 3, I'd start in the middle. I'd go out to 2 on the x-axis and then up to 3 on the y-axis. And if I wanted to graph the point 2, negative 3, I would start in the center, come out to 2, and go down to negative 3. And then I would, whoops, pretend that's going through 2. I would connect the points and then bring them out a little bit and draw arrows to show that I know that lines go on forever. This is a vertical line. The line x equals 2 is a straight up and down vertical line. And if I could draw a straight up and down vertical line, it would be a straight up and down vertical line. Any time you have an equation, that is, any time you have the equation of a line that has an x only and then a number, that's the equation of a line, uh, of a vertical line. OK. Oh, by the way, I guess I should check my answer. Yay! All right, let's try number 9. This is another one of those equations. y equals 1 this time. And again, we're given an x and a y table. You're probably getting a feel for how this works. There is no x in this equation for us to put numbers in. So that means x can equal any old thing like 8. 2 or negative 2, the only thing that's important here is that y is always 1 because the equation is y equals 1. 
So we'll put a 1 and a 1 and a 1, which means we have the points 8, 1, we have the point 2, 1, and we have the point negative 2, 1. And now if I were to draw this, ooh, I'm not a great grapher, you know. All right, but anyway, oh dear. These are all my x coordinates. I don't have enough room there. Let's try it again. I need a wider x axis is what I need. So let's see. Now, that'll do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's eight. Here's 2, and here is negative 2. And now to graph these three points, let's see, to graph 8, 1, I would start at the center. Oh, let me draw one here. One. All right. I would start at the center, and I would go out to 8 on the x-axis and up to 1 on the y-axis. And if I wanted to graph the point 2, 1, I would start at the center. I would come out to 2 on the x-axis and go up to 1 on the y-axis. And uh, see, it's, it's 1 here. All of these points line up with 1 on the y-axis. And if I wanted to graph the point negative 2, 1, I would come here to negative 2 and go up here where y equals 1. And I have these three points that are all in a straight horizontal line. So I do my best to connect up the points. I always start wobbling after a while. There. This is the horizontal line, y equals 1. y is being held to 1. X can be anything it wants. So, let's see here. We'll have a, a 1 and a 1 and a 1. And we're done. Check my answer. Yay! Okay, talk to you later.